right, so now let's talk about the eight steps to forecasting excellence. And this is a process I've been using and uh, evolving over the last 15 years, me and the expert I've been working with. It's inspired from forecasting expert program. The first one is not only about defining like what is the right formula. And many people are obsessed about, oh, what is the model? What is the forecasting model? But you have many, many steps before and after that. The first one is to be very clear. What are your goals? Why do you need this forecast? And sometimes you don't even need a forecast. You know, if you have only one day replenishment from your suppliers, do you really need to have the next 12 months forecast when you can have the stock tomorrow, right? So you need to be very specific. Why do you need this forecast? Who is responsible? What is the, what is the benefit to have a better forecast on this? Then you need to have the data, collect and transform data. Right, so we, we talk about it already with the Excel file we already prepared and we're gonna get back to Excel after. You already have a very strong base to forecast. You don't need to have so much complexity. I'm gonna talk about it later and make sure you have the right data, but not, not too much. <laughs> then finally, you need to choose the right forecasting model. So we're gonna talk about uh, what are the type of forecasting models um, after that, but this is also important and it's not necessarily the most complex one that will give you the best result. Number four, you can forecast. So you have the right model, you have the data, you can forecast the baseline. You can also forecast the new products coming, the promotions. You have many, many types of products and uh, activities you can uh, forecast. And this is the, <laughs> the topic of the number four. Then it's very important. It's not only about finding the, the right model, it's about measuring, analyzing and reviewing. Okay. You will always have a room to improve your model. That's why you need to have a very clear process to measure, analyze and review, even maybe optimizing or changing the forecasting model, going back to the forecast and measuring again. Okay. So this is a very positive loop that I'm going to explain later again, because this is very important. Number six, it's very important to make it as automated as possible. You don't want to lose time to redo always the same manipulation every week and every day. So automation is key. And then you need to empower your team. You need to become the facilitator of the forecast because one of the main goal of the forecast is to feed the model with the right data. I need to have the right data from the right people by implementing what we call, for example, an SNP process, sales and operation planning, and make sure that all the company is aligned in your company. Okay. So empower and facilitate and communicate. And you also uh, can prepare for the future. You are maybe using like statistical forecast, but you want to explore Python, machine learning, AI. And that's what we're going to talk. Uh, if you want to go deeper with my friend with Amazon. Okay. So this is just to keep you in mind, this is not only about the forecasting model. You have many, many steps. This is a very holistic approach you should have uh, with your company and with your team members. And this is not only about like formulas. This is about the, having the right method and process, having the right communication to feed the forecast with the right information and to review it and to have the right tools whatever you are only in Excel, Python, your ERP system and any AI tools you may use today or in the future. So keep this process in mind. And now we're going to talk about the different forecasting model. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video about forecasting. If you want to go much deeper about uh, how to forecast and have better accuracy, I, I do have a new free masterclass called generate more accurate forecasts. And during 60 minutes, I'm going to share with you with my friend from Amazon, Mario, uh, an expert in machine learning and forecasting, we're going to tell you how to become a forecasting expert, how to deal with demand uncertainty, who wants the forecast, what are the best forecasting model, the best tools uh, to forecast. Is it Python? Is it uh, ChatGPT Copilot? Uh, what is the best tools for that? And what is the future? of uh, forecasting the next uh, 20 years because we have a lot of change happening with real examples from Amazon, Decathlon, uh, Tesla. And I'm going to give you a free Excel, a free forecast generator to generate forecasts in less than five minutes during this masterclass. So if you are curious, you can check below this video. And for your information, we also provide other free masterclass about inventory management, one of my favorite topics as well, how to reduce stockouts and overstocks. How, what are the best KPIs and dashboards in supply chain to have better performance? How to automate your task on Excel? I'm going to give you an example and free Excel with Power Query. 
how to implement an efficient and collaborative SNP process, and what are the best strategies to become a supply chain expert and leader. So if you are curious, you can check below this video. Thank you for supporting us. Subscribe, like, and I see you very soon. Thank you.